G'day cocktail lovers, this is a riff on a 100 year old cocktail called The Taxi and that in itself was a slight riff on a classic martini. It's very interesting sounding one, I had to try it because the elements uh, really surprised me. The original recipe was a 50-50 split of dry gin and dry vermouth, so very much like a martini, a very wet martini, but it also has a bar spoon of lime juice which was really surprising, and a dash of absinthe, which was actually pretty common for drinks uh, around the early 20th century. I found this on the Diffid's Guide website, and I'm going to take the advice of Simon Diffid and split that vermouth base between dry and a slightly sweeter. A Blanco vermouth would be traditional. What I have here is a rosé vermouth. Blanco is obviously colour, white, clear vermouth, but it actually means, in terms of sweetness, between dry and sweet. And this rosé vermouth is, I've done the taste test, is between dry and sweet. Both vermouths come from the same winery, Unico Zello in South Australia, so I'll be using those in the drink. Keeping it Australian, I'm going to use Bone Dry Gin from Archie Rose in Sydney. Even the absinthe is Australian. This is from the Never Never Distillery. They do limited runs, experimental spirits. They call their dark series, and this is their Australian absinthe. It's really good. So with all that lead up, I'm now going to find out what it tastes like and I'm really interested in the effect the lime juice has. Let's see. Oh, that little zing from the lime juice is really interesting. Here's how I made it. In a mixing glass, put one and a half ounces or 45 mils of dry gin. Add to that three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils of dry vermouth. Then we're adding three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils of Blanco vermouth or rosé in my case. And then just a bar spoon around five mils of lime juice. And finally, just a dash of absinthe. Add ice to the glass and stir that for 20 to 25 seconds to chill and dilute the drink. And then I strain that into a chilled Nicanora glass. Even that little dash of absinthe is coming through and giving this a bit of character. Honestly, this is not gonna supplant Dry Martini is my favourite version of a martini, but it's an interesting variation. And I think with the slight rosy hue that the uh, rosé vermouth has given this, maybe I'll call this a pink taxi because I've been playing around with the ingredients. If you're into martini style drinks and want to experiment, I think you should try this one. It's uh, quite interesting and particularly if you like just something a little bit different. This could uh, float your boat. I'm gonna finish this off now. I hope you take care wherever you are and I hope to see you again soon. Until I do, I'll say cheers.